Okay, I'm going to give you a demo of how to use the HTML code sniffer by Squiz Labs to uh, make a WordPress website more accessible. So, first we're going to open up any browser, and we're just going to search for HTML code sniffer, and we'll to enter Squiz Labs to specify that. Here is the first result, HTML code sniff from squizlabs.github.io. Here it is. Here's a bunch of description of it. And here's the important part. It says get the accessibility auditor bookmarklet. Drag this link to your bookmarks bar to install. So I just click on that and drag it on up. And it's installed. Yippee. Let's go try it. We go to our WordPress uh, meetup website wpcouchin.org and give it a shot. So I'm going to try the code sniffer. I just click it, and there it's ran a uh, code sniff. So it's looked for what uh, accessibility errors or warnings there are. So you you can decide what uh, level of um, accessibility standards you want to use. I don't know what section 508 is, but these other ones, I know that uh, 1A means pretty lenient, 2A means I think that's pretty normal that for like government organizations, and AAA, I don't think anyone really does, but it's probably a bad idea. I'm not a government organization, I'm just going to do the pretty lenient one. And I'm not going to bother with warnings right now, so I'm going to turn warnings off. I'm just going to look at the errors first. I have errors is selected, and I'm going to click View Report. So it gives me uh, a series of errors that it says are in my page. These are things that make the website not accessible. So I'm just going to click on the first one, and it's going to give me some more details. Oh, it says IMG, that's image element, where the image is the only content of a link but is missing alt text. The alt text should describe the purpose of the link. So there it's giving me a description and I can click on this little um, pin here and it'll show me again where that image was. So it's pointing over here. So I know because I made this website that this is my menu and I uh, added this one menu item which is a link to our meetup but it's complaining that this link uh, doesn't have any text like these ones do. They all have text in them. It's just got an image. And that image does not have an, any alt text. Alt text is a special uh, little bit of code you add on to the image uh, in the HTML that tells screenwriter, screen readers what to read. So it's complaining it doesn't have that. Anyway, so that's what the problem is. So we'll look at a solution in a second. And from here, we can just click right to look at the next issue. It says anchor element found with no link content and no name or ID or attribute. This is kind of weird. Looking at this again, it's way off here to the side. And uh, here is the code snippet. So it has a little piece of the, the HTML code that's causing the error. It says it's an A take that means a link and as a class so it tells tells the web browser how to display it and it's the class is called close espresso notice um, that most people probably wouldn't understand what that is but because I helped uh, develop uh, the plugin that this is coming from I know well I know that's from our, uh, our plugin called event espresso and I know it comes from us because we're the only ones who, that I know of that use this, uh, would, would name something Espresso like this. So that's an error coming from our plugin. So that's not because of anything I've done on this particular website, uh, like any content I've created. It's coming from the plugin, and so that's a problem that uh, normally you would contact the plugin author to try and fix. In my case, I've talked to my coworkers because uh, we built it. Anyways, let's keep looking at other problems. 
Issue three is basically the same thing. So it's not happy about there being a link with no name or ID. So let's, and there's a third one. Oh, a small bunch of, anyways. And then here's another one. It's pointing towards this image I have here. This image element is the only content of the link, but it's missing all the text. So that's basically the same as that the problem up here. If there's an image that, well, there's a link that has an image in it, but there's no alt text describing that image. And um, here's another one that says align attributes. I guess align attributes aren't. Uh, they don't. They don't like align attributes. So here's a snippet of code. It's a, it says it's a div, so it's a division of the web page. And here it has an align center, and it's saying that that's it doesn't like that. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't. Anyways, I know from a just looking where that came from, it came from this area here, and I know that's from another plugin called some Asteroids widget plugin. You know, so let's keep looking. Still, there's another problem in the Asteroids widget plugin, and that's it. So how are we going to fix these? Well, so let's go back to the first one. Back, 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 back. Image, so that's this problem up here in the menu. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up in the back end of my website in the admin dashboard. I'm gonna edit that uh, link there and I'm going to give it um, some alt text for this image. All right, so here you go. I'm going to leave this, uh, I'm going to open it a new tab so I can come back to here easily. Dooby dooby dooby, so appearance and menus, I want to edit the menu. Yep. And I want to find the menu that has the problem. I know it's my top menu. So I'm going to select that one. So here's those. These first three are fine, but the third one is the problem with the custom link. And it says, sure enough, here I have my image. And I have, let's see where the image is from, the source. But then I don't have any alt text. So I'm going to add the alt text. Alt. Uh, and meetup.com logo. So that way, someone who's using screen reader who can't see that image, they'll know uh, what's in there. It's the meetup.com logo. I'm going to save my menu. Now oh, that error should go away when I refresh, when I run the uh, code sniffer again. So here we're back on our main page. Refresh it. and run the code sniffer again. And unfortunately, I have to tell it again that I only want 1A standards and I want to ignore warnings. Here, review the report. <clears throat> Remember the first one was uh, that error pointing to the anchor element, or the first error was pointing to the meetup.com menu item. And it's not there, so that was fixed. Yippee! So the next three were all from our plugin. So I, uh, you can either contact the plugin author. So you go to here. Let's do a demo. <coughs> go to WordPress.org, and our, I know our plugin is on WordPress.org. I'm going to go to plugins. And I'm going to search for a plugin I know has a problem with this person. And there it came up. 
and I would go to support. And I guess I need to log in here first. Uh -huh, that's me. And let me create a new issue. Where do I create new issues? Hmm. Obviously, I haven't created issues very much. No, oh, here we are. Very bottom. Create new topic. So I create a topic here saying accessibility issue. Say HTML code sniffer says, and then let's go back to the page here and say, just copy and paste that. And let's see, then it also tell them the code snippet with the problem. because I'll just annoy my coworkers. I'll just talk to them directly because I work with them. Anyways, if, uh, if, they, if the plugin author utterly refuses to fix those issues and you really want your website to be 100% accessible, uh, then there's another option, which is to just deactivate the plugin. So I'm going to just temporarily deactivate the plugin. Uh, I think... Okay. Go to plugins. Now I say I'm going to temporarily deactivate it because although accessibility is good, um, I like my website to work too. But I'm just going to deactivate. It. They have this. We have a special little thing that asks people why they're deactivating. Event espresso. Trying to find out if they're angry at us or what. Sometimes they are, and it's good to know. Anyways, so the activated event espresso. So let's see if those errors are gone now. So I'll refresh the page again. And run the code sniffer again. You're getting pretty good at this now. And set the standards back to what they were before. So 1A. Oh, now we only get three errors. So we'll get rid of those. Next error is not having an image element. It's the only content link, but it's missing alt text. The alt text should describe the purpose of the link. Hmm. So there's a link with an image in it, and it doesn't have alt text. Well, let's go add the alt text. So we'll go back in the editor. Uh, before we go, I know that this is coming from the sponsors page. And actually, there's an edit link here. I'll just use that and open a new tab. So I can get back to the first homepage pretty easily. And I'm going to be really patient for the page to load. Uh -huh. Okay, guys, where are we? Um, I think I did not successfully edit the page. I think that may have been a bug with Gutenberg. Maybe not. I have Gutenberg running on this site. Anyway, so we'll go to the page that I know has the problem. I'm going to use the e old classic editor for now. I'm going to find that image and I'm going to add alt text to it.
Hey, I already have a caption that you need to alt text. Okay, I'll just put in here. Alt text David logo. Now they'll know anyone's blind will know what they're looking for. And while I'm in here I'll double check that the other ones have alt text too. So logo. And WordPress logo. Now update the page. Great. Now we'll go back to our home page one more time. Refresh it. Run the code sniffer. Let's tell it again. We only want WCAG to A. Well, 1A. Turn up warnings again. View report. Okay, so that error is gone. So the only remaining errors are the ones from the Asteroids plugin. So again, I would just deactivate that one, or I could, again, search for it on uh, WordPress.org and ask them to fix it. Uh, where's the Asteroids plugin? Asteroids widget. Very fun. I haven't heard anyone talk to me about how fun the Asteroids widget was, but anyways. And then refresh the page. Here it's gone. Run the code sniffer. Oops. Whoa. Drag my window around back accident. Run the code sniffer. Single A. And there's zero errors. Yay. So from here, I could start looking at warnings. So, um, yeah, so that's how you use the HTML code sniffer by Squiz Labs in WordPress. Thank you.